The Humane Society of Sedona is located on Shelby Drive in Sedona. Open daily from 10 to 4, they offer adoptable dogs, cats, and rabbits, too. This Humane Society will host up to 1,000 animals a year. Volunteers are always needed in local rescues and animal shelters. Ask to speak with the volunteer coordinator. Visit the Humane Society of Sedona online or in person for more information about adopting a new pet. This beautiful fellow is named Thor. He has a fabulous name because he's a fabulous boy. He's a two-year-old lab mix who came to us on 926 as a surrender. He has lived in a home with kids and women and men and he gets along fabulous with families. He also is great with female dogs. He was kenneled with another female dog for a while until she got adopted. But he doesn't like competition so he's not good with other male dogs. He also probably would not be good with cats because he's very active. He's got a lot of energy. He's a great walk. He loves to walk. He'd be a great hiking dog because of his energy level. And his favorite pastime is to play ball. So he is like the energizer bunny with balls. You can throw balls. He'll bring them back. He'll drop them. You can tell him to go long and he'll run out and he'll catch them. So he's a, a great, great play dog uh, for a family that wants somebody with high energy and uh, a loving nature. Aren't you? Yes, you're a loving dog. And so we really hope you come and check him out because he really deserves to go to a great home. He's a super boy and one of our favorites here. So please come check out Thor. funky, handsome looking boy is named Kuna. And Kuna, believe it or not, is about eight years old and he is a standard poodle. He looks this way because a woman that was coming back to Sedona had found him in a ditch in Idaho and he had dreadlocks and mats all over him. He's malnourished and she brought him back so we had to have him shaved. But when his hair grows back he's going to be gorgeous. He's a very, very sweet boy. He knows obedience. He sits. He gives you his paw. He's a very easy walk. He's very playful in the courtyard. He loves to toss toys around. Um, but he's also, as you can see, very docile. He will, uh, he will be a, a good um, dog for anybody who knows poodles and wants to play um, because eight is really not that old for a poodle. And uh, he, we just know that he doesn't like cats because he was adopted and unfortunately he went after the his new owner's cat, so they had to bring him back. So no home with cats. But older children would be great because he is playful. Um, adults uh, would be great. We really don't know that much about him, but since he's been here, and he's only been here since about the middle of December, uh, he would be uh, a great addition to someone's home to, to come and play with him. And he sits cross-eyed, don't you? Look at that. And he's affectionate. He gets kisses, don't you? Yes, you do. So please come check him out because he needs to have a new start on his life because he had a tough, tough situation going. So this is our Kuna. Right, baby? <laughs> Here we have Buddy. Buddy is a year and a half year old Labrador Retriever. He's got a lot of energy, a lot of muscle. Um, he's a big love bug. He came to us originally back in June and was adopted, but he's proven to be a little bit too rambunctious for small children. So he needs to be in a household with older kids uh, or adults. He'd be great to uh, go out on hikes because, as I said, he's got plenty of energy. He does need a bit of training because he still acts like a pup and he wants to do what he wants to do, but he's really settled in. Uh, dogs probably need to be introduced. Cats, it's questionable. We don't know what his history is with cats, but um, 
I think once he got some training, he would really settle in and, uh, and just be loving because he's got a very, very loving uh, nature. He's just a little bit of a goofball right now because of his age and not having any training. But uh, he's, he's loving to go on his walks every day. And uh, he really is in good health and he's uh, exuberant. So we're hoping that somebody that's looking for a lovely dog to, to run around with and play chase balls and do all that kind of stuff, we'll come and take a look at him because he really is a sweetheart. So this little tyke is named Freddy. Fred, Frederick, Happy Fred, Fast Freddy, we give him a lot of names. He's, a, you can see, a very happy, happy young Pomeranian mix. He's only about two and a half years old, and he is very active. He loves to play. He loves to go on his walks as long as he can be in front. Um, he has a lot to say to everybody on his walks. He's been kenneled with a couple of other dogs, so he has shown that he can get along as long as they know he's the boss, because he is a very confident little fella. But he, uh, he loves to just uh, get a lot of exercise, run around. He, he will need to uh, have somebody that will pay him a lot of attention because he does crave attention from people. And if you don't want to give it to him, he'll make sure he, you know that you haven't been giving it to him because he, he does love to be played with. So um, if somebody is interested in a, a young, active, happy boy that will give you a lot of entertainment because he is quite the character, Please come check him out because he, he is a sweetheart. And uh, he's also potty trained. We take him out first thing in the morning. He doesn't go in his kennel. So he's, uh, he's a, good, a good, good boy. He could lose a little weight. He's a little bit chunky. But um, I'm sure anybody who adopted him could take care of that. And he'd make you a really, really fun companion. Right, sweetheart? lovely pup is named Leland. Leland is a youngster. He's only about a year and a half. He came to us originally back at the end of June and he got adopted by a family but was brought back because he was too much for them. So he is an energetic dog and he's going to require some training but he's very young and he's very adaptable uh, and he's got a sweet personality. He really is just a big goofball that needs to have somebody that's going to give him some obedience training, a lot of love and attention, and a lot of exercise because he really does love it best when he's running around loose in a park or a courtyard. Um, so he'd either have to be run, probably be a great hiking dog, uh, or in a backyard running around chasing balls. Uh, he's, uh, he's really friendly, it seems, with other dogs. They would need to be introduced, but he seemed to want to play more with them than anything else because he is just a, a big oversized pup. So um, if you come check him out, he'd make a great family dog. Uh, as I said, a lot of obedience training needed because he hasn't had that up till now. But he's loving, aren't you? Yes, you are. And he would, uh, he'd make a great family dog. So please come check him out because he deserves to have a great home. He's got huge paws, although he's probably full grown right now at a year and a half. But those paws say it all, don't they, honey? Yes. <laughs> so this is Leland. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. 
Camp Verde Eye Care has moved, but not too far, just a few doors from where they were in the Outpost Mall. It's the same expert service from Dr. Jack Houston and his knowledgeable staff in their terrific new surroundings. Since 1976, Camp Verde Eye Care has been helping residents of the Verde Valley to see more clearly. Call for an appointment or visit them online at cv-icare.com. They're still in the Basha Shopping Center and have a beautiful new facility. Camp Verde Eye Care accepts care credit. Your local Taco Bell invites you to Live Moss. There are now three varieties of Doritos Locos Tacos at Taco Bell. Nacho Cheese, Cool Ranch, and the new Fiery Doritos Locos Taco. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on the corner of Highway 89A and Cove Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell. Live Moss. Uh, I actually work with special needs adults. One of my clients' mom is a Jackson Hewitt tax preparer. She said, you can get extra money for your expense for your driving. I got $3,000 back. I feel safe with Jackson Hewitt. This is our Dobbs. He's one of our favorites at the shelter. He's a, he's a, a young, about a couple year old shepherd mix that came to us in June. And he's a very, very sweet boy. He's potty trained, we think, because he doesn't go in his kennel. So he's one of the first dogs we get out on a walk every morning. And he's easy to walk. When you go into his kennel, he likes to talk to you. He gives you like a full sentence of, of words that he has to say. Happy to see you in the morning. And he is uh, very playful. He loves to play in the park. He loves to play in the courtyard with balls. And he has gone to many of our adoption events. He's been close to being adopted a few times and, and has behaved extremely well with other dogs at off-sites and, and greeting people. So he's, uh, he's a great family dog. Uh, we haven't uh, seen, because he's a stray, we don't know, but we haven't seen any um, uh, bad behavior with other dogs or um, him trying to be nosy with our cats that he can see through the window in the courtyard. So he probably could be okay with them. As a shepherd mix, he probably would, uh, would not be averse to being with other animals and cats. And uh, he would just make a great family dog, I think. He would love to go on hikes because he's got a lot of energy. And he also would love to play in a yard. And he, uh, he just loves to get attention. And he's just a, a real sweet boy, aren't you, honey? So if you come and check him out, we could take you up to the park and show you what he can do up there, chasing his balls. and. Uh, and you can get to know him and hopefully take him home and make him a great addition to your home. So please come check out Mr. Dobbs. Who we have here is one of the shelter favorites. His name is Cash. He came to us in September as a stray. He's a three and a half year old Staffordshire Terrier. And he is just a big, big goofball. He loves people. He gets along with other dogs. Uh, he has this female uh, Staffy that he plays with, Ember, all the time. And they just love each other. They even sleep together with their arms around each other. So. He's very, very good with dogs, but he would not be good with cats. He was adopted by someone who had cats, and they learned very quickly that cats and him are not meant to be. So he was brought back. So he shouldn't be in a home with cats, but other dogs would work out fine. Children would work out fine. He's been child tested with pulling ears and tails and everything, and he has no reaction. Um, he just loves to play, loves to chase balls loves to run around. Um, we laugh because when he's going back into his kennel, he makes it sound like a javelina pig almost. He's just, uh, he's just a real fun, fun dog to have and would give a lot of enjoyment to a family, I think, um, if you just come and check him out. Uh, he's a bit of a, of a puller on his walk. He can walk nice, but if he sees something he wants, he wants to go for it, and he's, he's kind of strong, so we have him on a harness. But he is, uh, he's just a love. We just love playing with him and and uh, he's one of the favorites of the volunteers to walk every day because he's such a good boy. 
So please come check him out. Right. <laughs> yeah. here is Marenzi and she's quite something. She's only 10 months old. She came to us on September 23rd because her elderly owner could not keep her anymore. She was a little bit too active for him and she is a Labrador Retriever, female Labrador Retriever mix. She's got a lot of personality and a lot of energy because she is only 10 months old. She loves to play ball. I mean she'll return the ball to you, drop it for you to throw it again. She ha needs a lot of exercise because she is that young. She has lived with other dogs and cats and kids and adults, and she's just very social. Uh, but she's going to require a lot of exercise because of her breed and her age. And um, she is uh, quite an interesting walk. She walks on her harness, but sometimes you've got to control her. So she's going to need a little bit of training. But she's got a sweet disposition and a sweet personality. And she loves, uh, she loves people, she loves attention, and that's typical of a lab. Uh, she's got gorgeous markings on her, and she really just needs to go to a household that is going to give her a lot of uh, training and a lot of attention and play with her and give her some exercise. And then I think she'll just turn into a wonderful, wonderful playmate. Uh, so we're hoping that you come and take a look at her and see if she fits your, your home so that she can get her forever home, because she deserves it. Well, here we have our little Buddy. Buddy is a one-year-old corgi mix that came to us as a stray uh, November 21st. Um, he is very timid at first with new people, but once he gets to know you, he is really a sweetheart. He loves attention. He's got high energy. He loves to run around and, and play in the courtyard. He's actually kenneled with a, a fat female chihuahua named Sugar, and they curl up on the bed together, so he gets along with other dogs. There have been as many as three dogs with him in the kennel, and he's been really good with all of them. He loves to go up to the park and just run his, till his heart's content, uh, chasing dogs around and chasing balls around. And he is, uh, he's just a sweet, sweet boy, but he's going to need some confidence because he probably had a troubled first year. But he's just, uh, he's really, really very, very sweet, and we're just hoping that he's a tiny guy, as you can see. He's not a big dog. And he's full, going to be full grown. He's not going to get any bigger than this. And we're just hoping that somebody will come and, and want to love him because once he gets to know you, he will, uh, he'll be an absolute sweetheart. So please come check him out. Right, mister? Yes. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Humane Society of Sedona. Your local Taco Bell invites you to Live Moss. There are now three varieties of Doritos Locos Tacos at Taco Bell. Nacho Cheese, Cool Ranch, and the new Fiery Doritos Locos Taco. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on the corner of Highway 89A and Cove Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell. Live Moss. 
Hi, I'm Paul, proud owner of High Desert Pest and Weed Control, with a sincere thank you for voting as number one three years in a row. Congratulations, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, High Desert Pest and Weed Control offer 100% guaranteed positive results. So if you're fed up dealing with spiders, scorpions, roaches, and other pests, rely on a company that's been serving Sedona and the Verde Valley since 1998. Call Mr. Paul at 639-4444. That's 639-4444. I keep a file where I have everything that's tax deductible. Then when I bring it in, it's all right there. When you first retire, you want to go to someone that you really have confidence in and that you trust, and I trust Jackson Hewitt. I'm Terry Morgan, and I'm a real Jackson Hewitt customer. Camp Verde Eye Care has moved, but not too far, just a few doors from where they were in the Outpost Mall. It's the same expert service from Dr. Jack Houston and his knowledgeable staff in their terrific new surroundings. Since 1976, Camp Verde Eye Care has been helping residents of the Verde Valley to see more clearly. Call for an appointment or visit them online at cv-icare.com. They're still in the Basha Shopping Center and have a beautiful new facility. Camp Verde Eye Care accepts care credit. Masiek, that's a Polish word. He is a Siamese kitty, he's seven years old, and he came from a very loving family, so he's gentle and sweet and well socialized, loving. He'll sit on your lap. He's just a very, very nice natured kitty. They were moving, so they gave him to us to rehome. He hasn't been with us very long, and he's got the most beautiful markings really typical Siamese markings and he probably would suit any sort of home because he came from a family so yeah he's just a really great kitty spectacular kitty is called Leo. He has some sort of pedigree I think, it doesn't really say in his record, but uh, I think he must be some sort of rag doll perhaps or a flame point. Um, he has got this very gorgeous sort of flattish face and blue eyes and this spectacular um, long hair, just kind of whitey cream. He's got really big paws and he's just a very gentle soul. He was a little bit shy when he first came to us, but he, he is warming up. And I think just a really quiet home, away from any sort of chaos or noise. And he'll just kind of sit around and look beautiful, because that's what he is. You're just a gorgeous boy. Yes, you are. She's a black short-haired kitty and she is four years old. She's quite plump, she's been very, very well cared for um, and I think she'd sort, uh, suit any sort of ho home, not least because she's outgoing and she's very confident and yeah, I think she's just a great, great cat. Um, she's lived with other kitties so she's got a, a very adaptable personality I think. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Humane Society of Sedona. When you first retire, you go from having the income coming in to being on fixed income. You're worried about keeping what you've got. 
And it's nice to know that I've got Jackson Hewitt to help take some of that worry off my shoulders. We know life can be time consuming, especially when you're running a business. You'd love to give more to your community, but you just can't find the time to do both. What if there was an easy way for you to run your business while giving back to your community? Would you do it? You can do both by enrolling in the new Payments in Kind Give Back Program from National Processing Solutions. What is the Payments in Kind Give Back Program? As an NPS merchant, NPS will give back 20% of their proceeds to any local charity or organization of your choice. The donation is in your name and is made at zero cost to you. To find out how, visit PaymentsInKind.com or call us at 888-696-7783. That's 888-696-7783. The Payments in Kind Give Back Program, helping you help your community. Hi, I'm Paul, proud owner of High Desert Pest and Weed Control, with a sincere thank you for voting as number one three years in a row. Congratulations, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, High Desert Pest and Weed Control offer 100% guaranteed positive results. So if you're fed up dealing with spiders, scorpions, roaches, and other pests, rely on a company that's been serving Sedona and the Verde Valley since 1998. Call Mr. Paul at 639-4444. That's 639-4444. This is Black Ice. He is one of a few kitties that came to us, all siblings, that we gave the black as the first name. So there was Black Tie and Black Ice and other black kitties they all had some black in them but this one is black and white and he's very very sweet very cute a little bit skittish so probably a quiet home would, do, would be best um, but he'll very quickly like any kitten be able to play and as he gets older I'm sure that he will be um, very relaxed and mellow he's four months old and he's ready for adoption now <laughs> This is Tillman. He loves to be petted and he's a very sweet boy. He's only one year old, so he's actually quite big. He um, hasn't long left his kitten stage, so he's probably very playful. He's black and it's likely that he gets along well with other kitties. He came as a stray, so we're not exactly sure of his background, but I think he'd be pretty adaptable to any sort of background any sort of household simply because he's just so very young and he's a little bit frightened at first but he warms up very quickly he's actually quite relaxed now and when he does meow oh boy he has got a very very big voice aren't you yeah oh and he's purring now he's a very contented little boy aren't you fancy that gone from wailing to purring in just a few minutes His name is Moon. He's black, he's soft, he was found as a stray wandering, but he's a sweet, gentle little guy and he would probably suit any sort of home. He's very mellow, so I think he must have been loved in his, in his past and got lost somewhere and then ended up here with us. Uh, he's five years old and yeah, he's ready for adoption now. We haven't had him very long. He's very silky, very soft.
After the break, we'll visit with the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. Verde Veterinary Hospital in Cottonwood is your full-service companion animal hospital and has achieved AAHA accreditation, reflecting total commitment to provide quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. Verde Vet provides comprehensive medical, surgical, and dental care and offers 24-hour emergency service and house calls. Heartworm testing, feline viral testing, and nail testing, all available without an appointment. Verde Veterinary Hospital. Hey, it's your girl Jillian with a big offer called Switch and Save. Switch to Jackson Hewitt from any competitor and save $50 off your tax prep fees from last year. How cool is that? Check out the details on jacksonhewitt.com. Your local Taco Bell invites you to live moss. There are now three varieties of Doritos Locos Tacos at Taco Bell. Nacho Cheese, Cool Ranch, and the new Fiery Doritos Locos Taco. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on the corner of Highway 89A and Cove Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell. Live Moss. The Adopt for Life Center for Animals is located on Mingus Avenue in Cottonwood, open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 3. They offer many adoptable dogs and cats. Volunteers are always needed in local rescues and animal shelters. Ask to speak with the volunteer coordinator. Visit the Adopt for Life Center for Animals online or in person for more information about adopting a new pet. This beautiful guy is Zilly. Zilly is our most senior resident here. He's been here for 13 months, which is way, way too long for an animal to be in this environment. So we really need to find him a home, and we need to find him a home quickly. Zilly is a two- or three-year-old golden retriever mix of some sort. He's highly active, needs lots of exercise, but he's an absolute love bug. I love this guy. We've been together so long that we have a real special relationship and uh, I really need to find him somebody that can share the love that he has to give. Zilly is a, a, a very active fellow, so he would do best in a, a family that you know, likes to hike or get out and, and be active themselves and can take him with them. Um, he does not do very well with little kids, so if you have children, they'd have to be kind of older. He is not fond of cats whatsoever, and he doesn't do real well with other dogs either. So best combination for him would probably be, you know, a home with a, you know, a young couple or a middle-aged couple, someone that's, you know, active lifestyle, doesn't have any children, or if the they do have children, the children are older. Um, and again, no pets, no other pets in the home would be the best suggestion for him. Um, he will, with his energy level, he really needs to exercise a lot. So. I would really suggest a, a, a fenced yard, a home with a fenced yard. Um, the fence should probably be a, a higher fence because he's fully capable of, uh, he's so big he could probably get over a smaller fence if he desired to do that. Hopefully he would like his house so much he wouldn't want to do that. You'd like your people, wouldn't you? Yeah. And, um, and all, all around, he's just a wonderful, wonderful guy. He's so friendly with people. Um, I kind of have to, because he's so big and crazy sometimes, I have to kind of manhandle him to get a leash and stuff on him. And he never, ever shows any aggression whatsoever. So that's really a positive thing. And he just make a wonderful companion. Um, he, he'll bond with you and um, just, you know, increase your happiness, I'm sure. And that's my good buddy, Zilly. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, this beautiful guy is Checkers. Checkers came to us, he was kind of a young guy, he's grown up a little bit, and he also had a little bit of a problem. He had a leg issue going on, and when he stands up for you here, you'll notice that Checkers is missing one of his rear legs. So he's what they call a tripod. But don't let that concern you because that doesn't slow this guy down at all. In fact, I probably shouldn't tell you this story, but I will because it's just interesting to give you an idea how competent he is. We did have Checkers adopted out to a family. They had a four-foot fence and they thought that they were doing real good except Checkers had no problem whatsoever getting over the four-foot fence. So the loss of his one leg doesn't slow this guy down one bit. And as you see, he is a friendly, just active, got a beautiful disposition to him. He's a beautiful dog altogether himself, too. He's probably got some pit bull in him, but you would never know it by his disposition because he's just so friendly. Just a friendly guy and just so nice, loves people. See somebody coming by his cage, his tails, his wagon at 100 miles an hour, and he's standing there with those big eyes just looking at you saying, come take me, come take me. So we're here today to tell you to come take him. This guy is a great animal, and as I said, three legs means nothing to this guy. It's just the way he gets around is just phenomenal. I mean, if you ever had a question about how a dog with three legs would do, this guy would be the poster child for it. Um, he gets along with everybody. He's not aggressive toward other animals that we have seen. Um, I'm not so sure about cats because we don't really mix them with cats so much, but he doesn't get worked up at all about around other dogs. He just, he just wants to play. He's just full of life and full of love, and the only thing that's missing is a permanent home for him. So, and he's been here for six months now, so it's time we get him adopted and get him into a good home. He'd do great with children. Uh, that's no problem whatsoever. Um, and even though, as I say, he's got three legs, he still needs lots of exercise because he's full of energy. So this is my buddy Checkers. Yeah, he's my good buddy, and he can be your good buddy too if you just take him home. Right? Yeah. Okay. Tell him. We're telling him. All right. That's Checkers. Checkers. Checkers came to us. He was kind of a young guy. He's grown up a little bit. And he also had a little bit of a problem. He had a leg issue going on. And when he stands up for you here, you'll notice that Checkers is missing one of his rear legs. So he's what they call a tripod. But don't let that concern you because that doesn't slow this guy down at all. In fact, I probably shouldn't tell you this story, but I will because it's just interesting to give you an idea how competent he is. We did have Checkers adopted out to a family. They had a four-foot fence and they thought that they were doing real good, except Checkers had no problem whatsoever getting over the four-foot fence. So the loss of his one leg doesn't slow this guy down one bit. And as you see, he is a friendly, just active, got a beautiful disposition to him. He's a beautiful dog altogether himself too. He's probably got some pit bull in him, but you'd never know it by his disposition because he's just so friendly. Just a friendly guy and just so nice, loves people. See somebody coming by his cage, his tails, his wagon at 100 miles an hour, and he's standing there with those big eyes just looking at you saying, come take me, come take me. So we're here today to tell you to come take him. This guy is a great animal, and as I said, Three legs it means nothing to this guy. It's just the way he gets around is just phenomenal. I mean, if you ever had a question about how a dog with three legs would do, this guy would be the poster child for it. Um, he gets along with everybody. He's not aggressive toward other animals that we have seen. Um, I'm not so sure about cats because we don't really mix them with cats so much, but. He doesn't get worked up at all about around other dogs. He just, he just wants to play. He's just full of life and full of love. 
And the only thing that's missing is a permanent home for him. So, and he's been here for six months now. So it's time we get him adopted and get him into a good home. He'd do great with children. Uh, that's no problem whatsoever. Um, and even though, as I say, he's got three legs, he still needs lots of exercise because he's full of energy. So this is my buddy Checkers. Yeah, he's my good buddy, and he can be your good buddy too if you just take him home, right? Yeah, okay. Tell him, we're telling him. All right, that's Checkers. Sammy. Sammy is about a one to two year old pit bull mix. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's got this fawn coat and these beautiful green eyes. And she's very, very loving with human beings. Not so fond of other dogs. And she doesn't have a whole lot of manners. She's kind of hard to walk. But um, she's been here for quite some time with us now. And we're trying to find an adoption uh, home for her. She's high energy, but she's very, very sweet. I mean, she's just one of the sweetest girls we have around here. And she just doesn't care for other dogs. Now, that might be something, she's young enough, it could be overcome if people want to take the time to train her. This environment's so hard because her cage is one of those that we walk all the dogs past and a lot of the dogs get excited and they show an aggressive behavior behind there, but once they get out, they're really not all that bad. So I'm not sure how she's going to be, but Sammy. But all in all, she's just really a good girl. I mean, as you can see, she's very easy going here, but um, she's going to need a yard because uh, she's high activity level. And like I say, when she goes on her walk, she pulls like a freight train. For a little girl, she's got a whole lot of strength. But uh, I think she'd probably be okay with kids. Like I say, she's just really good with all people, so I don't know that she'd be a problem with kids, but she's probably going to have to be the only pet in the home. Um, I think that's her biggest drawback. Um, and as I say, probably the reason she's been here is that she doesn't show very well in the cage. She, um, when other dogs walk past, she gets pretty active, and that kind of turns people off. But all in all, she's just a sweet girl, and I think she'd make a wonderful pet for someone if you've got a yard and you got some time to train her. She's going to need some training. She's very, very smart, um, so that won't be a problem. The problem is going to be giving her enough activity and spending some time with her so she can learn how to do things right, learn some manners. She's just a little short on manners, but otherwise, she's a really a good girl. And this is Sammy. <laughs> Okay, this girl here is a two-year-old, one to two-year-old pit bull mix, and her name is Purdy. Purdy is a beautiful brindle, round-eyed girl, a couple of little white markings on her. Uh, <laughs> kind of choking on her treat right now. She's very treat motivated, and that's what we're seeing going on right here. Oh, Purdy. Anyway. Purdy's a good girl, loves her humans, loves to give kisses, loves to jump up on you, loves to bang into you. Um, she's very friendly, um, not too bad with other dogs, but I think you'd have to be very, very slow in doing an introduction. Quite honestly, I think, you know, she'd probably be better off being the only animal in the home. But, you know, given time, if you had another pet and you really liked her and you wanted to give her a home, I think if you just took your time with them and introduced them, I think she's very capable of becoming friends with another animal. Um, it's not the best choice, but if you know, I meant her getting adopted, I think it'd be worth a try. She is going to have to have a yard. You're probably not going to have enough energy to burn her out or get rid of the energy she has. So she's going to have to have a yard where she can run and get rid of some of the high intensity that she's got in her. Um, I wouldn't recommend small kids, again, just because, not because of her temperament, um, just because she's so crazy. She, 
you know, she'll see them and she'll want to go see them and she'll just run and bang right into them and knock them over probably. So I don't think that's a good idea for her right now. But other than that, she's just a beautiful girl. Big kiss. Can I have a kiss, Purdy? Hey, can I have a kiss? Thank you for kisses. Yeah. Anyway, that's my girl, Purdy. Two-year-old brindle female pit mix. <laughs> This girl here is Star. Star is a one-year-old, maybe a little older than one, one and a half maybe. Um, she's some sort of a terrier pit mix. I don't know, you know, it looks like she's got some pit in her, but you know, she's just, you know, I wouldn't go so far as to say she's a pit. I think she's more of a terrier mix of some sort, but I don't want to deceive people either, so there might be some pit in her. She's a really good girl, highly active. One of her problems, she's been here for a while now, about, probably about three months. And I think one of the reasons she doesn't get adopted is not because of her personality, because she's got a great personality. I just think it's her activity level. She's just so crazy in the cage that people look at her and they kind of get scared away and say, oh, I don't think I want her. She's too, too wild for me. But as you see, she's not all that wild. She's really a pretty good girl uh, once you get her out of the cage. She pulls a little bit on her leash. Um, can use a little bit of work there, but all in all, I mean, she's a friendly girl, um, likes to give kisses, and all of a sudden she's decided there's something down there she wants. <laughs> Come here. Turn around. Camera's over here. There you go. So um, a family would work for her. I think she'd be good with kids, but it's going to have to be an active family. If she had a fenced-in yard where she could burn off some of her energy, that would make things even better. I think once you get rid of the energy level, um, she's really a sweet girl and she'd be you know, wonderful as a family pet. But you gotta get the exercise in there because she, this is a dog that will not be happy being confined and not having a lot of room to run or a lot of time out with her family or friends or whatever. So if you're gonna think about her, if you're an active family, I think it'll work. If you're looking for a, a couch potato dog, this is not your animal here. Anyway, again, her name is Star, one year old, maybe a little older, kind of a terrier pit mix, very friendly girl, needs a home pretty bad. She's been here about three or four months now, and we really need to find a home for her. So that's Star. This is Fringe. Fringe is a two to three year old pit bull, Staffordshire Terrier mix. Weighs in at somewhere between 80 and 100 pounds probably. One of the most powerful dogs you're ever going to experience. You're going to have to have somebody that can control him. And I go 250 pounds and I have a struggle with him. So that gives you any barometer on what we're talking about here. The good thing for all of us is he is just a love bug. Can I have kisses? I want to kiss. Give me a kiss. Thank you for kisses. So he loves human beings, does not like other dogs, does not like cats. Going to have to be the only pet in the home. He demands all of your attention. Doesn't want to share with anybody. Uh, highly active. I would like to tell you he's easy to take for walks, but he's not. He likes to pull a lot and you know, he'll let up a little bit as he go, go along, but you know, your first couple hundred yards is going to be an experience with him. Um, but he's well behaved. I mean, other than the fact he just wants to do his, his thing when he goes on walks, it's not his fault. We just don't walk fast enough. That's, our, that's the only problem. He's got his own pace in mind, and uh, we just don't keep up with it. So. But he's really a good guy, and he'll have a lot of fun with him. He'll bond with you. As you see, he's very, very friendly toward people. He loves everybody he meets. He'd probably be great with kids, too, if you wouldn't knock him over. That's the only concern I'd have for that. But 
He's just a wonderful, wonderful guy. He's only been with us a couple of months, but with his size and strength, he's going to be hard to place. So if you think you have any interest in him whatsoever, I'd get in here and take a look at him because we don't want to keep him around long. He's the type of an animal that really needs to get out and get some exercise and get into a good home where people can love him and he can love him back. And that's from my buddy Fringe. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. Verde Veterinary Hospital in Cottonwood is your full-service companion animal hospital and has achieved AAHA accreditation, reflecting total commitment to provide quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. Verde Vet provides comprehensive medical, surgical, and dental care and offers 24-hour emergency service and house calls. Heartworm testing, feline viral testing, and nail testing, all available without an appointment. Verde Veterinary Hospital. Hi, I'm Paul, proud owner of High Desert Pest and Weed Control, with a sincere thank you for voting as number one three years in a row. Congratulations, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, High Desert Pest and Weed Control offer 100% guaranteed positive results. So if you're fed up dealing with spiders, scorpions, roaches, and other pests, rely on a company that's been serving Sedona and the Verde Valley since 1998. Call Mr. Paul at 639-4444. That's 639-4444. This is Charm, a long-haired black cat. She's about one year old. She's still very timid. She would do great in a single pet household. Um, she's very loving. She loves to sit on your lap. She, of course, is quite curious. And again, Charm, a long-haired black female, one year old, looking for her forever home. <coughs> name but a great cat. He's uh, about seven years old, male, neutered. His owner could no longer care for him and he had to move in here at the animal shelter. He's declawed front and back and he loves snuggling. He would make a great lap cat and is looking for his forever home. Again, Mickey Mouse a male, neutered, seven-year-old, declawed, front and back, cat looking for his forever home. <laughs> Animals leaving the Adopt for Life Center for Animals are given rabies vaccinations that are spayed or neutered. If the animal is not old enough, vouchers will be given to the adopted family. Visit the Adopt for Life Center for Animals on Mingus Avenue in Cottonwood to visit with any of the animals seen on this program. More pets are waiting for new homes at the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. 